Hello and happy Tuesday. It's a real Tuesday today. I just wanted to jump on and show you a couple of tools in action today. I needed more hummingbird solution. The hummingbirds are drinking up the food like crazy. So uh, they're thirsty, it's so hot outside and they're not finding flowers because we didn't have any rain to bring on the flowers very much, did we? So uh, some of the tools that I love to use for this is the, are the dual sided cleaning brush right here. I use this to clean all of the little holes for the little hummingbirds right here and uh, you clean that really good. And also this groove right in here that, you know, that gets really dirty with the sugar water. Um, and so it's really a nice little thing to have. And I love cleaning my little silicone ring too. Uh, it's kind of like the, like the washer, so it doesn't leak out of that. So and that, that gets dirty. So you've got to kind of watch that area. So I've got my hummingbird cleaner or feeder, feeder clean. Now I just have to make the solution. Oh, and I also use this to clean the grooves here and then I try to get as best as I can inside with this too. Um, so now to make the hummingbird solution, I'm using the silicone prep bowl that I'll, I'll use this to hold because this is an odd shaped hummingbird feeder and so it doesn't set up. So I, I like to use this. This is the two cup and I mix the solution in my three cup prep bowl. It's a silicone one. It also has a one cup. This comes in a set. And then we also have little lids for it. So I put three cups of water and three fourths cups of sugar. I use this little measuring cup from the Easy Read Measuring Cup Set. And uh, you don't have to do any deep knee bends for this, but this one lives in my colander. I have one in my flour and then one in my sugar. And you just pour it right into there and it's, it's four cups of water to one cup of sugar. So it's four to one. And so since I'm doing three cups, it's three to three fourths, okay? And so I'm using the mini whipper, which is stainless steel, it's not gonna rust. Nicholas, my grandson calls it the mini whipper snapper. And we're gonna whisk this up like this. And then I'm going to be able to just funnel this since I don't have a, uh, we don't have to use a funnel because it's silicone and it's a narrow opening. So we'll just do this right here, pour it in there without getting a spill. Yay! My hummingbirds are going to be so happy. I do have another one out there. I have like two of them. All that sugar water got dissolved and put that over there. And then we'll just put this right here. And then it will be ready to go outside. And there it is. And it, like, like I said, it's just having the right tools makes all the difference in the world. Now I wanted to remind you about the guest special. Tonight, May 31st, this one ends. So if you haven't placed your order and you want these scrapers free, then you spend $80 and you get to choose either the classic scraper or the skinny scraper free whenever you um, uh, whenever you place your order tonight. After tonight, it's gonna be a different special June. We have the corn cob knobs right here, which are awesome too. Or there's a kernel cutter. And y'all, I cannot find my kernel cutter. I don't know where it is. It has feet. All my tools have feet, you know. Um, but so maybe you want May and maybe you want June. So buy both, okay? Buy it in May and buy it in June. And, um, but you do have to submit it to not to get these scrapers if you want those. And then remember, you get free shipping when you spend $150. So that's what I would say. Buy the May special tonight, spend $150. And then tomorrow, maybe you don't want to spend $150, but you can get that corn kernel, uh, kernel cutter and uh, the, the um, corn cop knobs. Now, let me show you the avocado tool. This is another tool that when you purchase this, Tonight, it, it ends tonight, $1 is contributed to the American Cancer Hope Lodge Foundation. It's through the American Cancer Society and then they have a Hope Lodge Foundation that it contributes to. And so $1 is contributed there when anybody purchases the avocado tool, but it ends tonight. So I'm showing you how to make some guacamole, easy, easy peasy guacamole. You, uh, I've already cut it in half right here with this knife part. And then uh, you can use this right here. I, I already grabbed the seat out, but you use a little prongs there and then you just kind of knock it, knock it out. And y'all, it does better the first, you don't have to push it so hard the first time, but then it just knocks out. 
And then I'm gonna scrape out, let me get this part out of here. I don't want any skin in there. We're gonna knock this part off. We're gonna get this off right here and then scrape all of that good avocado out of here. Get every last bit. We don't wanna waste any, any uh, raw avocado. So there it is. And now I'm gonna, let me wash my hands real quick. I hate to have that avocado on my hand right there. <laughs> then I use my mix and mash right here to mash right here. And I don't do it a whole lot because you don't really have to do it a whole lot. I'm gonna put a little bit of our guacamole seasoning in here. And I don't put a ton because I like the flavor of a good avocado, okay? So it doesn't, you don't really have to put a whole lot. So there it is. There is our easy peasy, holy moly guacamole and mix and mash. It's not just for guacamole, it's for mashed potatoes. It's for mashing beans. It's just the best thing ever, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. And um, just enjoy. So I'll be touching base with you guys another time. Message me, guacamole, and you get 10 more tickets. Bye.